This podcast is brought to you and powered by Sunday Cool. I'm scared. Watch this. Or oh, listen. Please. Hey there. Hi. It's sweater weather. Yeah, that's right. It is. Sure, it sure is. It's getting cold out there, folks. It sure is. We're heading into the fall and winter seasons, and guess what? It's going to be getting cold out there. It's going to be getting real cold. And we want you to be wearing our Sunday Cool tees. But guess what? You don't want to get cold. Right. You might want to have something a little bit thicker on. That's right. But you still want it to be soft, right there, Josh? Right. So you go to sundaycool.com forward slash fleecewear. You can see all of our options that have been nice, thick, soft, and warm apparel. Mm-hmm. All customizable, too. You can get whatever print you want on them. I got a nice little Sunday cool print on mine. How about you, Andy? Absolutely. I sure do, too. We also have crew necks, long sleeve tees, and hoodies. And you can even build a package so you can have water bottles and wristbands and everything you want all together. That's right. Sundaycool.com forward slash fleecewear. Go now. Ooh, chili. (laughs) (laughs) Warm you up. (laughs) Don't ever. I'm just just kidding. Stop. Stop. I'm just Stop. Not, don't hit me, first of all. All right, so Lily, um, you like my beard. Yeah. On record. Yes. Okay. All right, thank you. You didn't like it before? Uh, I did like it, but right now it looks really healthy and, and good. What were your thoughts before today about my beard? That you had one. There was no descriptions you would use to describe it? What are you getting because at? Because there's some people that commented about some very mean descriptive words about my beard. So... You. This was motivated by comments. Maybe. Yeah, a little bit. Andy, yeah. Yeah. you said something this morning to me. Did you tell him? I did. He yeah. didn't tell me what you said, but he said something, and I want to hear what I'm you said. Not saying no, you have to say it. You are a punk. What'd you say about my beard when it was long? Because it's it is it's yesterday, right? You're so mean. We're it's in the past. You're gonna make me cry. It's in the past. Wh- what? What did you? What did I you say? I can't believe about you it? did that. What did you say about it? It was funny. I didn't hear it. I'm not gonna. You're not gonna hurt my feelings. Yes, I am, because you you're shaved not. it because of comments. No, 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 you're fine. Go ahead, say I'm it. I'm not saying say it, it ever! You have, to, you have to say it. I'm not saying it. I already know what you said, actually. So you have to say it. You have to say it. I can't believe you. What a betrayal. <laughs> no. You and your work wife it's sharing funny. our whole yeah, secrets. See, see, it's not betrayal when it's on, because I don't feel betrayed. It's only betrayal on your part, and you're the one that said the thing. I said it looks. It was looking a little methy. A little methy. Is that Mike Tyson's version of saying messy? Or is that you saying, Just oh, messy. God, a yes. messy. Oh, you got a slister. Oh, well, I have a fun fact for you, Lily, okay? Oh, Are you ready for this? All right. I never <laughs> shaved it. <laughs> I had it tucked in the whole time. Oh, my How gosh. dare you call me a messy beard? All right? <laughs> it's very messy. <laughs> yeah, so thanks for that. I, I can't believe it. you. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Hey, it's you, funny. you leave them out of never, this. I'm never telling you anything again. You leave them out of this, okay? Thank right? you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're the perpetrator. I was putting on a uh, I was putting on a t-shirt this morning and I was like, "Oh my gosh." I'm like, "Wow, oh, that's a, that's good to know." Like I, if I cut it like how it will look and I walk out to Kelsey and I say, "What do you think? I cut it." And she she's like, "Oh!" Uh. <laughs> she like her, she was like, "It looks good." Uh, but she was just like, "My heart dropped. I missed like I, I, I could, never thought you would have cut your beard." So you're a little brain dead. So this was a a long prank? Yesterday you said... No, no, no. no this, this was this morning. morning. It was just this morning. I, he fooled me because I came in and oh. he had it like that and he flipped it out. I said, <laughs> what? <laughs> I thought that you guys conspired this, but let's no. see what Lily says. No, he fooled me too. I can't believe you told him. Yeah, a little methy. Okay. I thought it was funny. Yeah. That's me. <laughs> it's funny. It's mean no, that I no. said that. No, it's no. not. It's not at all. I, I think it's funny. I, someone commented, um, I don't know if I mentioned this before, but someone commented, my favorite thing is uh, Andy's beard has a beard now. <laughs> and so I was like, that's cool. Because it just keeps adding on. Okay, so I guess that's payback for you saying I have gray hair and that when I do a spray tan, I look like Liver King. True. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> I hadn't heard the second one. <laughs> oh, yeah, we were at a. It was like a, it was a Thanksgiving or Friendsgiving, and yeah. we were all talking. And it, I had just gotten done with the episode where I tan myself to look like the Liver King, and then you show up. And he's like, "Oh, extra hey, tan, hey Liver and King." He said, he said, "Oh, the old Liver King." <laughs> <laughs> what oh, ever happened man. to him? Oh man, who knows? Did he die? Yeah, no. he did. Uh, he just got canceled. No, he got swallowed by a buffalo. <laughs> <laughs> he's catching shirts. <laughs> he's just out there. Primal. We hired him. We hired him. We do a drug test actually once a week, though. That's the thing. Mm-hmm. We're, yeah. we're accountability partners. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
Um, so we filmed an episode yesterday. We did. Um, but it was with Jaron and his buddy Tim, but the podcast got messed up. Yeah, it was like half, yeah. The video wasn't recording. And, and so we blame the government. They're trying to stop us. They're trying to silence us. So that episode will be available somewhere. Somewhere at some time. Hint, hint, hint. Wink, wink, wink. Maybe Patreon. <gasps> what, <did> you, <gasps> what is it? What? Did you just hear that? We're, just, we're working hey, on stuff. Can you stuff. check with my uh, levels? Yeah. For some reason, I heard something come through. Um, uh, how are we all? Oh, man. Ryan. I am rocking and rolling. Yeah. Rocking and rolling, baby. Yeah. I'm excited for another podcast with my friends. Oh. <laughs> That's cool. What are you doing uh, over there, Lil? Yeah, you what are you doing? I'm creating just, something? Yeah. Okay. Let's see. In three, two. Huzzah! Oh, Nick That's has lipstick. Lipstick on. <laughs> oh, Nick looks pretty. I guess. Nick looks so pretty. <laughs> I didn't, oh, I didn't finish. You guys asked me to. He has a really nice time. personality, though. Um. Hey, Lily. Yeah. Song. Yeah. What? Don't you think that Bigfoot is just my Uncle Joe? <laughs> oh, me. Don't you think that aliens just want to be our friends? Just be my friend. Ninjas are butterflies. So 54, open your eyes, take you for a wild ride. Don't you think that the Statue of Liberty is made by mermaids? <laughs> I believe it, I believe. Don't you think that ancient Egyptians built the sphinx because i don't that's what i think <laughs> ninjas are butterflies episode 54 open your eyes take you for a wild ride let's start the show I try to do a little Mac DeMarco. I was wondering. I was like, <laughs> not Tame Impala. It is very Mac DeMarco. Yeah. Look at you, Pepperoni. Everyone else telling this morning, I'm like, let's do a Mac DeMarco. And everyone's like, who's Mac DeMarco? That's your homework. I showed him. Oh. Easy. They hipster. knew They knew some of the songs. Nice. Yeah. He's like the Tim Robinson of music. He's, he's a goofy dude. Goofy. Yeah. Goofy boy. <laughs> Did you guys know Tame Impala was one person? <laughs> really? Yeah. I know that. Oh, I hey, figured everyone knew that. We haven't That's talked about my speedy is. exit. We did speedy on ex- we did on the podcast that you weren't a part of. Yeah, but you want to tell the fans why you abandoned them? Yeah. But before we do that. Oh, <gasps> oh sorry. It's like you're new here. <laughs> I have a question. Older. Do you? Yeah. Okay. Hit me. <sighs> question today, sent in by a viewer. <clears throat> Is therapy a sign of weakness? Oh, my gosh. Uh-oh. Again, that's what they sent in. And we said that we'd answer every question. Is oh. therapy a sign of weakness? Can you answer this one first? I want to time some um, time to think about it real quick. Is therapy a sign of weakness? Uh, no. Okay. I'll, I mean, I'll, I'll, I guess I'll go off that as well and say no. Mm. Yeah. I don't, I don't think so. Okay. No. 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 Well, okay. I don't know. I guess we all agree on that. Yeah. Um, what would you guys say is a sign of weakness? Lily, what would you say a sign of weakness is? Um, like, what's like a, maybe just a generic one? Oh, my gosh. I don't know. Because I'm having like a hard frame of reference. Like, you know, like yeah. therapy is not a weakness, but what is a weakness? A especially sign for of the viewers. Weakness. A yeah. sign of weakness. Gossip. Gossip. Okay. Cool. Mm. 
All right. But wait. What? Wasn't Abraham Lincoln known to gossip? Yeah, quite a bit, actually. And so... Wait a minute. Are you not... Is Lily saying that... Is she insinuating that Abraham, Abraham Lincoln, Lincoln was, was weak? weak? What? what in the world? Lily? Oh, oh my goodness, you guys. Oh, Lily. Oh, my gosh. Not our 16th president. Come on. Welcome to the show. This is frustrating. <laughs> That was a stretch. That was a stretch. Hey, but it, <laughs> we did it. Hey, yeah. so. Hey, what, but we did it. What is up with Andy suddenly having all these crazy fun facts about presidents after that <laughs> July 4th <laughs> episode? <laughs> what, is it he hooked really me, bro. He was the 16th. Yeah, he was. Yeah. 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 Fascinating. <laughs> What's some history you've learned since that episode? Give oh, us a fun fact. No, I've just been learning so much about it. Uh, I think, oh man, I you'd have to give me a name of president, but I've been it hooked me, dude. I'm yeah. the more I'm learning about history, I'm like this stuff's actually people should learn more about history, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I'm history just is kind of fascinating. They should teach this in schools, <laughs> <laughs> Andy. They do. <laughs> Funny, no. like, funny little, like, related segue is that somebody did this TikTok where they talked about um, they have a theory that if you really liked history and excelled in it in schools, that you were also a really good gossiper. Oh. Like, they said that literally only because it's just like, hey, did you hear that this person? <laughs> <laughs> I yeah. loved history and I was really good at it. Uh-oh. I mean, you're learning, you're literally learning all of the good and bad about this person's personal life. <laughs> and then you're just sharing it with people. Yeah. And the only reason you don't feel bad is because they're dead. Did you hear what Genghis Khan did <laughs> to like the majority of the world? <laughs> he was like really not cool. Um, He's kind of a loser, actually. You all heard of Richard Nixon, right? <laughs> did you hear? Apparently, he's up to some really shady things. <laughs> but you didn't hear from me. Hey, whoa. Oh. <laughs> oh. Hey, oh. What's what? What's up? I'm Brandon. Brandon. <laughs> Brandon. <laughs> Fire what's up. what's gonna what's gonna fire you up today, yeah. Lily? You want to debate something? You want to argue? Let's Kinda. Do it. You want to? You want to? Do you want to hear something crazy? Let's hear something crazy that I discovered today. <laughs> guys, should we hear something crazy right Tell now? Me. You guys, have you heard of? Just kidding. I'm not doing that. Please do the first <laughs> intro with that. <laughs> well, um, let me just do this first. <laughs> the podcast Anthony recommended. Yes. High strange. Yeah. Scary. Pain. Um, so good. It is so good. Everyone go listen to it, but it's insane. And the people that he interviews will shake you to the core. But remember when we joked about him being an alien? Yeah. Let me show you this picture of him. Uh oh. Oh. <laughs> this eyes are this big. <laughs> this is Payne Lindsay. Yeah. Payne Lindsay. Yeah. Skinwalker. You see oh. I mean, I mean. <laughs> Do you know what he looks like? He, the, look, the he looks angel? familiar. Yeah, an angel. From the knowing. <laughs> oh, no way. <laughs> he literally does. That's so it's funny. Like dead on. He has an age today. Good for him. And they don't call them <laughs> angels in the knowing, but no. they're like aliens. Yeah, yeah. That's oh, funny. I had no idea. <laughs> That's hilarious. This is the first just, time you saw him? Yeah. <laughs> um, so who, who is he on there? Is he the guy that's telling the story? Yeah, he's, yeah, he's the, the host. Yeah. Oh, okay, got it. And he's interesting. Controlling the narrative. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> really, I need a snack. <laughs> you no want some? Really. Uh, we have some bagels. We have some uh, Bucky yeah. snacks. Hey, thank hey, you. Let's do that. We've had these in uh, nuggets. Yes. They might be stale. Um, <laughs> we had some people send us some Bucky snacks and some other snacks that are really healthy. Um, but they've been in. This, <laughs> they've just been in here for a while now. We're just now mentioning. So thank you so much for those. Uh, appreciate it. This is a risk. Who's, do we remember Wait, the name? Uh, There's milk in it. Read the contains contains oh, contains versus cross contamination Cody risk. I'm feeling dangerous says, today. Says milk. Thank you so much to Cody and Jesse Stevens, David and Eva James. You guys are Yay. literally keeping us fed the beef jerky. Yeah, you're giving Lily uh, brain food, dude. Can we get sponsored by Bucky's? <laughs> that would be pretty cool. Bucky's first podcast. That would let's, be really cool. Let's do it. Um, but high strange. Yes, he goes into this. The first episode leading into the second episode, 
he have you have you listened to? It? Yeah, you have. I've listened half of them. I think. Yeah. So he talks about this. He interviews this guy who was abducted. Okay. Um, and it's one of the most believable stories. Yeah. Because this dude, nothing to gain, but it he talks about in the interview. It's messed up his entire life. Like this dude was like that. Those like hard working men. That was a logger. Yeah. And he was just blue collar guys. Yeah. Normal blue collar guys. His voice and is so gravelly. Yeah. It's very, very like, yeah. Like you've heard, you've seen this dude before. Oh, this is not a dude that's came out of the woods. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah. So he talks about they're driving down this UFO appears out of nowhere through the woods and he was with six other guys. I'm just going to say it real quick. Cause oh, yeah. you gotta go listen to the podcast. Yeah. High strange. Start from the oldest one too. Um, tells the guys to stop. He pulls over. He gets out of the truck to like be like, I want to see it before it takes off. Because he sees this absolutely like glowing UFO floating yeah. through the in the forest. A and pale blue dot. He was meta- he said it was metallic no, no, and no, goldish. That's the first episode. Oh. The second episode is where he's being interviewed. Oh. Um but he gets out, he runs over, and all the buddies in the truck, they're also loggers. They're coming back from a job. Mm-hmm. They're like, get back in the truck. What are you doing? And a light beams down on him from this metallic thing and he they described it as it was like he was electrocuted and like went up like 30 feet in the air and they freaked out and like drove off and they went into town or they're going they stop because they're like we have to go back for our friend yeah so they stopped on the way into town turned back he wasn't there they go back reported it instantly to the sheriff and then it was a three-day manhunt search for this dude and they're immediately Immediately, under suspicion for murder. Yeah. yeah, you would you would have to be. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. But it's like, why would these guys instantly right. go? So it was like this whole thing. Right. But the guys are like, they agreed to take the the polygraph test. Pass it. They said you can either uh, even inject us with truth serum. Do we have that? Uh, I don't know. Can you imagine? There is some, yeah, what is some it? Stuff Whiskey. Like <laughs> <laughs> when you're investigating that though, and you're reading the polygraph live, and then you realize in well, that the guy, moment they're not lying. It was it happened in Arizona, and they got like the official polygram reader of the state of Arizona to conduct it. Uh, six of them, no, five of them were they were telling the truth, and one of them was inconclusive. But it's like, what do they have to gain to lie? Exactly, like they have nothing to gain. There's no reason for it, except for covering up a murder. Five days later. He reappears. <laughs> exactly. That's li- <laughs> right there. Li- Five days later, he reappears. <laughs> he had lost 10 pounds and had his beard was growing in. He thought he was only gone for an hour. And then he tells the story of when he was on this craft. He woke up. He thought he was in the hospital because he thought he just got electrocuted and like went unconscious. He woke up. He's laying on like this metal table and there's a light above him. He said, but it wasn't bright. It was just, but it hurt to look at. And then his eyes were fuzzy and he saw what he thought were doctors around him. Vision cleared and they were aliens. He just described them as creatures with no hair and big eyes. Instantly freaked out, rolled off the table. There was something strapped to his chest, ripped it off, threw it away, backed up. And he said it was hard to breathe. And he said he was in so much pain and like he was screaming and crying because he was so terrified. And then, like, the creatures, like, left the room. And then, like, a, he said it looked like a human walked in. And he thought he was, like, being saved or whatever. And he's like, oh, thank goodness. And the human didn't say anything and brought him into another room. And there was more human-like people. And they grabbed him and started putting him down on the table. And he said he was, with all his strength, he was trying to get away. He said, but they were so strong, it was like I was doing nothing. They put me down, they put a mask over me, and then I woke up on the ground in the woods. And so you could see the light. Oh, yeah, and then he saw the light, and he said he saw it take off. That that thing was gone. And I was just like, bro. <laughs> and so he went into town, and he was basically, he didn't want to even tell the story. Because it's like, it's not believable. But he's like, and so uh, Lindsay was like, or Payne Pain. was like, um well, what do you think when people think your story is crazy? He's like, I don't care. He's like, think whatever you want. He's like, I know it sounds crazy, but I know what I went through. Jeez. And then I saw this other thing today, this old video from uh, Unsolved Mysteries. Mm-hmm. 
And it was a, this whole thing about these four dudes that like hard dudes that were out just being boys and camping. Yeah. And they have this story of how they were abducted. Oh man. And they, mm-hmm. it's, it's like they literally described the same thing. <gasps> Weird. And they talked about this thing that there was placed on their chest chest and like these humanoid things. And like it was there, but they had them, uh, they like hypnotized the guys after to hear them recount their stories. And it was, they're all, their stories all matched up and it was the most terrifying thing ever. Oh my gosh. Um, So that's cool. You only told that story to Andrew. I know because he was looking at me with like such interest. (laughs) I was locked in. That's a. It's such a scary podcast to listen to because like it's yeah. produced so well. The sound yeah. engineer, like just the effects that they have into it, it just gives you the willies. Like yeah. it's absolutely just. Ugh. But Man, this is tough one. even crazier. What? I just wanted to be a segue into alien stuff. Okay. <laughs> Where here we go? <laughs> I came across a document today. Oh, from the CIA. Oh, <gasps> from the actual website, right? Like CIA. I went gov. to CIA.gov. Okay. And typed in the number that I found. And I'm going to read you this report. Is this scary? Uh, it's something. Let's go! All right. <sighs> this report came out in 2000. All right. It's it's a little long, but it's worth it. I'm there. Outcast is playing. Okay. Beyonce is still in the Destiny Child. Here we go. <laughs> so this is, this is literally a CAA document. Uh, the source says Kiev holds Ukraine in Ukraine, whatever. Um, but it's a document from the KGB in Russia. Mm. Here it goes. <gasps> Let's see. Um, oh, in 1991, the KGB, sorry, it's like, the, okay, well, let me just say this. The CIA documents are very hard to read. Yeah. It's like they make that on purpose because yeah. no one wants to read them. <sighs> the KGB top secret intelligence administration a lot of material from that department found their way abroad in particular to the cia as reported by the authorized magazine canadian weekly world news u.s intelligence obtained a 250 page file on the attack by a ufo on the military unit in siberia Uh oh <laughs> the file contains not only many document do- documentary photographs and drawings but also testimonies by actual participants in the events. Oh, I got to turn off my, because people are blowing up my phone. We get it. It's You're popular. It's, it's Kiki. You're so it's famous. Kiki. You're so <laughs> famous, dude. This it's is my mother-in-law. mother-in-law. <laughs> um, sorry. Where was I? By actual event. Okay. One of the CIA representatives referred to the case as a, quote, horrific picture of revenge on the part of extraterrestrial creatures. Oh. Uh, a picture that makes one's blood freeze, end what? quote. According to the KGB materials, a quiet, low-flying spaceship in the shape of a saucer appeared above a military unit, unit that was conducting routine training maneuvers. For unknown reasons, someone unexpectedly, unexpectedly launched a surface-to-air missile and hit the UFO. It fell to Earth not far away, and five short humanoids with, lar- quote, large heads and large black eyes, end quote, emerged mm. from it. This is where it gets crazy. What? This is, this, where, is- this is where it gets crazy. That's not even the crazy part. It, was, it is stated that in the tes- testimonies by the two soldiers who remained alive, that after freezing themselves from the debris or freeing themselves from the, from the debris the alien i'm like getting nervous Yo, like you're talking good. You're about good. It. <laughs> That's so scary um sorry after freeing themselves from the debris the aliens came close together and then quote merged into a single object that acquired what? a spherical shape end <gasps> quote the object began to buzz and hiss sharply and then became brilliant white in a few seconds, the extreme bright and in the, sorry. In a few seconds, the extreme bright light uh, at the at that very instant, twenty three soldiers who watched this phenomenon turned into <gasps> dot 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 stone poles. What? Only two soldiers who stood in the shade were less exposed to the luminous exploding explosion survived. 
the KGB reported report goes on to say that the remains of the UFO and the quote petrified soldiers end quote were transferred to a secret scientific research institution near Moscow. Specialists assumed that the source of energy that is still unknown to Earthlings instantly changed the structure of the soldiers' living organisms, <gasps> having transformed it into a substance whose molecular composition is no different from that of limestone. What? The CIA representative stated, quote, if the KGB file corresponds to reality, this is extremely menacing case. The aliens possess such weapons and technology that go beyond all assumptions. They can stand up for themselves if attacked. Wait, help me with the visual. This is insane. So they get out of the spaceship and it's all these little guys. After it crashes. Yeah, they shot it down. They make a little sphere out of their bodies. They join together. They merge. It's is like what their they're molecular saying. structure formed into one sphere in a molecular sense. And then they went, <laughs> <laughs> and then they, and then the people that were exposed to the light or energy turned to stone. Turned into stone, and two soldiers survived from Whoa. it and told the story. And then they went out and collected the the bodies, the bodies of, of stone of stone. And this is just being kept filed in America's CIA government's website. Yes. Yes, it's been filed. Yes. Oh. But that just got me thinking, That's too. That so it reminded scary. me of um, Lot in the Bible. I know. Where his yeah. wife turned around and they said, do not look back at it. And then when she turned around, it says she turned into a pillar oh, of salt. Oh, my goodness. She was gone. I've never. Oh, that is. I've never like, heard a story like that. Right. That is so scary. Oh, as soon as you said the white light, I just thought like I just thought angel for some reason. Like, yeah. but, like, dude, that is wow. They they I'm hung up on how they they zoom they, together. They I mean, think about it. Like that would be like they're exposed. Like that's like if they like if they're not truly if they're in a different whenever dimension. I don't know. Like how how many it doesn't work like we do. It would Man. have to be like one like organism in multiple parts. Yeah, and they would have to be like bloop bloop bloop. Well, like, kind of like, let's play ahead. devil's advocate. Like, what could, what else? So it was like little beings came out of this thing. Yeah, it said and little then, humanoid creatures, and they Tra became one. So it's this is in two thousand two thousand. This ha it happened okay. in nineteen ninety one. Destiny Childs was still, oh. was still around, but oh, the the, the document wasn't released to the CIA until two thousand. I was like over here fact checking and reading and trying to see. I looked up when the military started using drones. Which the first use of them was oh one, so they've been playing with military use of this drone This happened tech. in Russia, right? And it's like Ukraine like acquired these documentation, but that was like my thinking. Like, yeah. KGB. wouldn't we do something like let's go see how people react, and we'll do it to them, and then like try to that seems that. like something that you couldn't. But the, yeah, the humanoid coming out of it is the part that I can't yeah. wrap my head. Yeah, around. it's like yeah, that's the first step, and you're like av everything after. You're like this. Makes me scared. Yeah, <laughs> that's. I'm just picturing it like that is that's something out of a uh, that's a Michael Michael Bay movie. That's something yeah. truly. Oh, I, that gives me the the heebie-jeebies. Is that not crazy? That's so crazy. Yeah, it's just. Weird. I just that's the thing because I I saw some I, I read an article and we talked about it recently. It was something on CIA's government uh, the government website and we were like we looked at it and we read it and we're like we don't really understand it but it's crazy that this exists. It was like the mind control stuff. Remember that? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and. They said, well, yeah, but if the people come forward, they have to file it. And it's like, yeah, but I mean, why are they getting interviewed in the first place? Yeah. And why is it even being taken that seriously if it's not something credible? Yeah. At least a little bit. So something like that is so scary and it's not unrealistic to what we're hearing nowadays. What would yeah. an angel want to do by annihilating the Russian military? Well, they were just observing. They Russia shot it down. Yeah. They so were just, just floating. Like, and who says that they're not fallen angels? Too. Or just something demonic or something supernatural in the galaxy. Does, Galactic. It, yeah. does it talk about in the Bible what if their appearances changed after they became fallen? I don't know. I'm sure there's something. Imperfections. Someone trying to log into our TV. <gasps> yeah, probably. Come on. Dude, ADD. the CIA, dude. Oh, oh, the CIA. Don't you think oh, no. the CIA... Is hiding alien evidence. DNA. Oh! oh! 
Help me, little butt. Let's get close. Uh, I just turned into stone. <laughs> I think it was Peruvian miners. Face peelers. Um, um, what a crazy packs, story. Baby. Crazy story. That is so terrifying. Yep. I don't like that. No, but honestly, just, I want to, if I'm going to be okay, if they're not going <laughs> to hurt me, you have my permission as long as you give Jeez, me back. I don't know. No. Man. Andy, you're crazy. <laughs> this is why alien, this is why on. you're Johnny Dogs. Dude, it messes <laughs> Wait, with what? people's psyche. He's Johnny Dogs from Peaky Blinders. Wow. Anything for you, Toby. <laughs> Anything for the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> nope. Take me up. So there I was. <laughs> We were talking um, about this before you came in here, but I think like maybe one in 10 movies or shows that you guys watch or talk about, I've actually seen. I know, it's so sad. I miss every, I miss most of the jokes. You haven't that seen Peaky in, Blinders? No. Oh, man. I you, told him to oh, watch it during surgery. The other day. Yeah, yeah. yeah, you would love it. That That's the cost of being homeschooled. <laughs> and we were supposed to say, because someone did call us out, Peaky Blinders is not a good show for no. the, but the, the, the thing is, adolescence. Hey, guess what? Anything we talk about, you have to. You have the responsibility to look it up yourself. Okay, guys, <laughs> we have. We can't monitor everybody. Yeah, yeah. All right, um, but uh, can we talk about the Flash for just a quick second? Yeah. <laughs> speaking of trash no, movies, speak, you're supposed to do. If you're oh, going to oh, segment. Oh, speaking of you, the, f- the the Flash that came from the aliens. <laughs> yes, and also didn't like. Uh, you know how they went through like they merged together. Yeah, yeah. Also, you know how the Flash like shakes himself and goes through like walls and things. Like yeah, you got. That, that's kind of like a little bit. Speaking of the Flash, the f- like from the the the, the okay. Speaking <laughs> of the, speaking of the Flash, like from the aliens, I watched the Flash last night. What? And it. it was that terrible. Was, yeah, it was trash. Yeah. Also rhymes with Flash. Boom. <laughs> that's what they should have called it. Hey, but um, listen, that was such a terrible movie. <laughs> okay, listen. <laughs> I'm not making too many jokes. I need everyone to know how serious I am about how much I hated this movie. Scale of one um, to ten. Four. And that's only that's, because I saw Keaton. Only because okay. I saw Keaton. Okay, okay, okay. If Keaton was not in that movie, that's a zero movie. Hot yeah. take. Dude, it's trash. It's uh, it's predictable, but also it's inconsistent. The graphics on it should be Visual incredible. Effects, yeah. Yeah. They should be the greatest in the world. They didn't. And yeah. we had one time to bring back Keaton. We had one time, and we screwed it up. <laughs> we, he was such a, like, they, like, had him, what is he doing? He's wearing flip-flops. I don't know anything about it. Dude, if you, oh, you haven't Cause, seen it? No, because I told you I started watching it. I thought you saw it. That's no, why I, I wanted to watch it. Fifteen minutes of it. And I'm like, and I dude, love superhero movies, dude. So I love bad. them. Yeah. I'm like, this is. I'm gonna waste my time watching this. Don't don't get me wrong. I'll put it on the background for like just because it's crazy to look at because the the, the special effects and like they just go way overboard like Marvel's type of stuff. But it's mm. it's trash and they really dropped the ball on bringing back Keaton. It was terrible. Hot Absolutely take. Absolutely terrible. I don't get. Keaton as Batman. I don't understand it. I don't yeah, understand how that cast happened. I well, they weren't happy about it when it first happened because he was a comedy guy. Like he oh. was doing Mr. Mom. He was doing like uh, uh, Duplicity or whatever that one was. And he was a he was a comedy dude. I mean, he did. I think Beetlejuice before that as well. Yeah. And Beetlejuice? then three movies I haven't seen. Don't. <laughs> Which movie? All three that you all four. Which one was the last one? Though? The Batman Beetlejuice. Ah! You're going to have to do something for the edit. <laughs> what the because heck? Yeah. <laughs> just what? Just what? I can't say Beetlejuice three times. Yeah, so you're gonna have to, oh. you'll have to edit something what? in there for Beetlejuice that's, because that's, that's the part, part of the, of the movie. movie. Yeah, You say his name three times. I've never seen it. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. Hey! Dude. Get that out. That's that's a must. That's such a that's a cult classic. That's it looks so good. scary. <laughs> no, it's funny. It's super funny. You've not seen it? No. Oh, yeah. You wouldn't have but, been allowed to. Yeah. But Michael Keaton's great at being a Bruce Wayne. Like he he was a good Bruce Wayne. Batman, I wasn't a huge fan of, but he was just he's the original. He's the OG. Mm. He's so good. Who's your Batman? Uh Christian Bale. Same. Yeah, that makes yeah. sense. I mean, he is the best of yeah. all time. I obviously. don't even I love I love <laughs> Rob Pat. George Clooney was my Batman. Honestly? Okay, let's rank our Batmans right now. I don't That's, know them all. I've yes, only, you do. I have only Michael seen Keaton Michael Christian Keaton. Bale. Okay, Christian Bale. Rob Pat. Okay. Oh, yeah. Ben Affleck. Keaton. Where's ben Clooney? Clooney? <laughs> I didn't know Clooney was one of them. Yeah. Val Kilmer. Val Kilmer was good, too. I, oh, I can't yeah. rank him because I don't know anything about. Yeah. 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 That's where I am, too. I'm a Christian. Uh, I, I would go. Jackie Chan was also one. Shut up. <laughs> I would go Christian Bale. I would go Michael Keaton, Robert Pattinson, and then uh, then Val Kilmer and then George Clooney. Dude, yeah. speaking of Jackie Chan, I ben saw Affleck a clip. Was. 
uh, Mulan, he actually does the Chinese voiceover for the main dude character, and they actually choreographed, choreographed like the animation from some of his movies. Like, oh, cool! Period. Yeah, it was like just a little like deep cut. Really. That's cool. Um, did you see that clip of Jackie Chan? I was a couple of years ago, <laughs> where he was being interviewed, and they said, um, "Who's your favorite Kardashian?" And he's like, "What is a Kardashian?" <laughs> <laughs> and he said, "Is that Amer? Is that is that American?" <laughs> It's yeah, so no funny. idea, and that's why Jackie Chan's the best. What a best. wonderful life! Yeah, have you guys watched his like wipeouts and like him doing all his own stunts? Yeah, it's insane. He's a legend, dude. Dude, yeah. like, he's been doing it for a long time. There's a movie called Cannonball Run that like one of my like distant yeah. cousin cousins uh, uncles is in, and we watched it as a kid all the time. But it's like from the '60s, and Jackie Chan's in it, crushing it. And mm-hmm. it's like and t- even today he's still doing movies and stuff. And it's yeah. like bonkers, man. It's crazy. He's got some longevity. Should we get Jackie Chan on the podcast? Well, should we? Well, Oh. Hey guys, reach out to Jackie Chan if you know him. <laughs> who would be uh, who's our ideal um, guest for the next year? Like Dude, who would Post be who Malone would, Malone. would be dope. Who would be so Post Malone would be what super fun. What are you talking fun. about? What do you I mean, mean that's, what su- are we that's such about? a crazy ass though. She wasn't on. That was big. Oh yeah, it was Corey. Yeah. We were talking to Corey about it. That would be challenging. Corey, Post-y. no, Corey knows somebody who, who knows, knows Post, Post Malone. So Post-y? he's reaching out. It might happen. Oh my gosh! I, I think <laughs> I think we need to. I'm uh, like, did he say that? I think we need to host a presidential debate. I think we be the moderators. Oh nice. And we bring everyone on this one couch. We, we just sit we, on the back of the couch. We just the ask them all about <laughs> aliens and stuff. Yeah, nothing nothing really serious. Yeah. We could just make that video where we cut into the actual broadcast. Yeah. Film you guys somewhere else asking questions. Mm-hmm. The next question I have is, um, do farts drive out poop or does poop drive out farts? Do you have 10 seconds. That. What's your policy on if somebody typed into the nuclear codes pee pee poo poo? Well, I actually agree with that. <laughs> <laughs> how big is Bigfoot's uh, you know, actual poop? <laughs> like, how big is I it? Know, yeah. you know. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to say crap, but I was going to say crap and I was like, poop. <laughs> but I said it anyway. Oh. Speaking of pee pee poo poo, <laughs> have you guys heard of ice cream and diabetes? This is, she found what? something good. What? I have something to talk about. <laughs> There's a conspiracy okay. around ice cream. And it's my job on this podcast. I'm going to eat my words later. It's my job on this podcast to bring some light to all mm. this darkness that you guys are talking about all the time. Mm-hmm. This Amen. is a fun conspiracy. Yeah. But. But a lot of people died. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Let's call it ice cream gate. Okay. Okay. So what's happening is these scientists and doctors did research that they found, they're like, I don't even know how this is possible. As a result, we're not disseminating this information out into the public. Okay. But you know how you always hear that yogurt's good for you? Yeah. It's got like all those probiotics. It's got all this stuff. Mm. Super good for you. They found in all of their research that ice cream has the equivalent effect of health on your body. And as a result, specifically- As yogurt. <laughs> yes. And specifically for type 2 diabetes patients. It benefits them. What? Yeah. What is it? How does that make sense? The I don't sugar, know. The sugar, though, right? I don't know. Give us the science. What? I didn't prepare it. <laughs> That's crazy. But anyway, so, but they're like, there's no way this can be accurate. Yeah. So we're not giving this information out to the public. But everybody's like, we demand the notes. Is ice yeah. cream back on the menu? Yeah, yeah. Like, should For I? For diabetics. What are you what? hiding from us? Also, let's run an AB test. You? Start eating ice cream. Okay. Like a lot. Okay. Don't touch it. I'll get diabetes for the pod. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the goal. We both get diabetes. I'll eat ice cream. And you see eat if yogurt. I eat <laughs> Whoever dies first is the loser. <laughs> oh, diabetes. It's funny, I guess. I guess, yeah. It truly is. <laughs> Call back. That's the verdict. Yeah, yeah. Um... That's crazy. I don't like that at all. I don't like. I don't like <laughs> that people lie to us. Oh, yeah. Don't withhold information. Yeah, especially put, put when it's around ice cream. Yeah, exactly. We don't. Don't play with us. It's big pharma, man. <laughs> big pharma is keeping us from the ice cream. It's right, cowards. Andrew. It's cowards. Yep. He hate. Yeah. How do you not know that ice cream won't cure your? Um, I tried this morning. Every morning, I take a little spoon. It's like microdosing ice cream. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> how do you know this thing that you're allergic to won't kill you? It's like saying Dude. something like, how do you know if I shoot you in the chest with this gun? You know, they, people you do that die. though. They, Come on. People like microdose um, like snake venom. Oh, yeah. do you, so you can get like a, uh, what is that called? A, so you become like immune, immune to, to yeah. snakes. I mean, <laughs> <it's> <laughs> an intolerance for it. I was going to say snake. 
bites and venom. <laughs> it's a snakes. Snakes bites it. <laughs> Snake is a bites and venom. Oh, that's all an allergy shot is. Is a microdose. Microdose. Dude, are we are we into <laughs> microdosing now? <laughs> just I just microdose dairy. water every day. <laughs> you guys are silly. Here's a um, real conspiracy. It's about a hurricane. Are you going to talk about it? Yeah, we have to talk about it. We're, the hurricane comes tomorrow. And it's already going to be like done. A hurricane. And maybe, maybe this is the last podcast because we don't know how bad this hurricane is really going to be. Maybe. What would we like to say to each other? You want to talk about the gas thing? Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, it's not really a conspiracy because they have a list of all the gas stations. <laughs> yeah, but what did they put in Since there? Since when have you like poured water on a conspiracy? Because fire? I was so <laughs> into it. She sent me the clip today. I'm like, <laughs> yo, I'm infested. Because the, the, all these people were like, here's the theory. This hurricane is coming. They're telling these certain towns and cities and counties to evacuate immediately. Yeah. Um, but then they came out and saying, oh, you cannot fill your car up with gas because it is contaminated with diesel. So if you're trying to evacuate, your car will shut down and you'll be stuck. And I'm like, what? How, how, why the timing of that? Yeah. And then I looked it up and they literally give you a list of what gas stations not to go to. But there's a headline that said they didn't receive all of them. It could be. No, but it it happened in Tampa where the contamination came from. But there's one in Umatilla. Umatilla. Yep. Maybe they know that the hurricane is going to do like one of the Ian's and beeline for Tampa. Boop, boop. Mm. Interesting. If that's the case, then we have a conspiracy. Ooh. I have a conspiracy that I really i am scared to say because I'm scared for my safety. Say it. I think pandas are spying on us. <gasps> okay. Here's my conspiracy. You remember that Asian sun bear that was happening? Uh, like yes. people thought he was a human? Okay. So I was like, yeah, we went through it. It's obviously a bear, right? Not a big deal. <laughs> but then I heard obviously. a fact... Then I heard a fact that all the pandas inside of America zoos, we don't own. <laughs> what are you laughing for? Keep going. What? Are they this is a very serious okay. conspiracy, dude. Don't laugh at this. Okay? Did you make this up? I made this up. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Jeez. This is I very, dude, no, this is very, I have a lot of evidence. Okay. Okay. All right. Ev- we don't own these pandas in America. Okay. You know that? We lease them from guess who? China. 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 <laughs> Okay, not done there. Okay, it was back in 1972 with Ronald Reagan. All right, Whoa. when this whole deal happened, what? Because China wanted to. <laughs> what you like, no, what you no I'm actually, I'm China? actually fascinated. Am I that saying China like Trump is? Because every no, time no. I say China, I'm you're fasc- laughing. I'm fascinated that you pulled that out, dude. I didn't I'm, know you went this I deep. Deep dove, okay, bro. Keep going then. Get on your nose plugs, because <laughs> we're Mike and Michael Phelps in it, and we're deep diving. Nice. All right. Okay, so in 1972, Ronald Reagan and the people um, over at China, they're like, hey, let's figure out the deal. And China's like, we want to look really good. We are PR people. We want to look really good. We want to, you know, chill on this whole, you know, like we're controlling our people kind of thing. Mm-hmm. So what we're doing, what are you laughing about? This so is so easy. Go, keep going. No, the people this over, is a no, nightmare. No. The people over at China, they're called Chinese. It's just funny. They're also to called me. people as well. You know, I see them <laughs> as people because not everyone there is Chinese. Okay. It's All just, right. It's a shame. So man. the Chinese government wants to look really good. And so they give us these pandas. But the thing is, they're not just gifting them to us. We have to pay for them now. <laughs> All right. Okay. Now we have to pay for them. But the thing is, they're looking really strange lately. Oh. A lot of like they're losing a lot of weight and stuff like that in America. And the people in Russia also have China pandas. But guess what? They're doing completely fine. Oh, I believe that the are there are people inside these pandas. <laughs> Chinese people. <laughs> and they are spying on us. And we are paying for it. See, that's what I think the conspiracy thing is. I don't think that's think, right? let's, that let's, is that, it's that's uh, good. I've ne- have you ever seen a panda bear up close? No. You haven't. There's a zipper on the back, I guarantee it. <laughs> I guarantee you, I like you push it, it away. It's there. And no, it's a real thing. It's not like whether you like it or not. Now they're like, I don't believe it. It's happening. It's really there. It's been since 1972. What if they were robots instead of people though? No. Can we please That'd find a CAA document that talks exactly about what you Apparently they'll take any um, any person, so <laughs> I'll just, just sit down and talk. And, and, and then like, the look! <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's right the there! Same, it. <laughs> and then in 200 years, there's going to be somebody with a podcast and they're going to be like, did you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, but I, yeah, I, I truly believe the the pandas are spying on us and I don't trust them. And I feel like we need to defund all zoos in America <laughs> as a result. So, all right. You heard it here first. I'm bought in. 
Yep. Oh, hey. no, but speaking of pandas. Really? What happened? We got an ad. Don't go anywhere. What is that? What? What is that? What? Floating above us. What is that? That's a light. That's just oh, the light. Oh, Josh. Oh, we're going to die. We're going to die. Gonna okay, die. I, I, have just some, I have something to tell you. If we're going to die right now, I have something to tell you. Okay, you have 10 seconds, okay, I guess. <laughs> All right, if you go to SunEqualSwag.com, please, you can get all the best and coolest ninja merch stock uh, you could ever want. I'm sucking. I don't know that way. That was terrible. But if you go to SunEqualSwag.com, you get all the merch that you want. And it's great. It's super soft and it's wonderful. And also, if you need custom t-shirts for anybody, you know, be- because we're going to die, you can call them right now. All you have to do is tell them to go to SunEqual.com to order custom t-shirts. Yeah. Okay. 72 hour turnaround. It's just, oh, no! it's, it's just a light. It's just a light. Oh, that's, <laughs> oh, that's uh, yeah, duh. Your story earlier scared me. <laughs> um, and wasn't that ad exhilarating? Honestly, I think it's the best ad we've ever done. For sure. What are right, you Lil? staring at so hard? Please? <laughs> I must. I must keep eating. I wanted to get a good one. Good one. Yeah, and I kind of like one. the stale ones. Last oh. night, I had a nightmare. Okay, so we ran out of milk. Uh, me and Kelsey were like having uh, Oreos and milk, and so I poured out the last glass of milk, and I was like, dang it. So we're out. And so I'm sitting there, and I'm having some Oreos, and then I finish it. I'm like, I'm done. And then instinctively, while I'm watching, because the Oreos are right there, I grab another one, and I bite into it, and I'm like, milk. And there was no more milk. And so I had to sit there and eat <laughs> an Oreo. <laughs> An Oreo with dry, with a dry mouth. And it was the most, like, it was the worst day of my life. Probably. I thought he was going somewhere my... like he picked something up instinctively thinking it was an Oreo. No. It was like a poop or something. I don't no, know. No, worse. It was an Oreo without milk. Worst okay. day of your life is every day of mine. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Dang. That's true. You know what time it is? <gasps> hey, hey um, <laughs> give us a song because Andrew wants to do his thing first. Or a band. band. Oh. I'm going to get you something to pull, by the way. I, I'm gonna get I need you. it. Yeah. Weezer. Andrew has, Andrew has a real today. But it's not a real, but it's not, not a real. real. It's just it's a, a video. video. It's actually not a video. <laughs> oh, no, it's not a video. <laughs> Andrew's going to show us something, something today. today. Yeah, there it is. Beverly Hills. We're right going to do drugs together. Oh. Just kidding. Uh, yeah, so there's a cup and a fork and a packet. Near everybody. What is this? Andy, will you help me out? And there's fruit in the cooler. There's mango and pineapple, and there's lemons. And so, first off, uh, this is a test of strength. Can you tear a lemon in half? Wait, but are we going to eat what his yep. fingers were yes. touching? Yes. <laughs> your problem. I thought we had a knife over here, but I don't see it. <gasps> that you're gonna take your finger off. Way sharper than I thought that would be. Do I, I open keep this? Shop? Did everyone just get a yes. lemon? Don't eat the powder yet. So I'll give you give you the backstory. So I'm my heart's still with the people in Hawaii. They're still going through a lot. And I don't want to talk about how dark everything is, but just wanted to do a little little something for the people over there. This is a uh, snack I grew up with. It's flies in her eyes. You just ah! sprinkle this powder on the lemon. You can there's mango and pineapple. This is uh we've done the lihi moi seeds before. <laughs> But this you is just powder. made that word up. I did. I did. Yeah, Leaky, Leaky boy. boy. Leaky boy. Should we get married? Didn't we make that joke yeah. before? Oh, <laughs> probably. <laughs> so yeah, uh, just sprinkle a little on the fruit. Give it a try. How much? Sprinkle, sprinkle. You said a little. A little, little sprinkle. <laughs> is this too, <laughs> much? too much powder? <laughs> oh, too much. Is this too is this much? Sour? No, I did, no. I, did I did a lot. I did a lot. I did a lot. No, it's unique. <laughs> Let me try yeah, not so a lemon. So oh my gosh, cyanide. my brain is trying to figure it out. It's like salt and lime, but it's like the Hawaiian version. Oh, you did it on your oh, I dig that. lemon. I dig that. I you dig have that. to use That's enough of it to hide. Like, if you don't yeah. use enough, then you're just chewing on a lemon. Put it. Try it on the pineapple, though. That's like. I just did. That oh, was awesome. Okay. Gosh, this and is going to be mango. so bad for your acid reflux. So where can people get this? Uh, Amazon. But my family in Hawaii sent it over to me. So, what a lovely treat! Shout out to the Mahikoas. You made that, yeah, I think you made that word up. This is like a healthy um, dippy stick. What do they call those? Fun, this fun is dip. very, very, oh, it's very not healthy. It's got so all you, the cancer things in it, but oh. it's delicious. <laughs> Guys, cancer is not real. 
<laughs> what did you say? What? What happened? Wow! <laughs> <laughs> wow! Was that Christopher Walken over there? Wow! Wow! His, his, his mango is fantastic. Wow! Um, <laughs> but you know what time it is? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I sure do, dude. I sure do, man. You know what time it is? I'm rock, rock and roll. Let's go. What are you ready for? What is it time for, Josh? Tell me. <laughs> Tell me. What time is it? What time is it? Question corner. Question corner with Lily. Where the questions are fresh on our mind. Uh. <laughs> what are you laughing? Your face. I don't know. It just threw me. <laughs> the way it is right now. No, when he took a bite. I did not like that mango one. I didn't know you were looking at me. <laughs> oh, man. You're oh, to, it's like you're trying to hide it. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> you're like, it's, it's He's not like, trying to insult him. He just got done talking about the people of Hawaii. You think I'm going to insult their, their culture? <laughs> Ouch. I'm excited oh. to go back and edit that because I didn't see it happen. Oh, man. <laughs> My apologies to the people away. I'm crying. <laughs> Could have been the mango. Oh, yeah. it's, a, it's an Aldi mango. Oh. Yeah. <coughs> <coughs> okay. Go. All right, here we go, Lil. So I know a minute ago I just said that uh, it's my job to bring light to this podcast, but my question <laughs> course is pretty dark, okay? If you had to commit murder, what weapon would you use? <laughs> okay, Lil, <laughs> golly. Would you rather know... The manner in which you die, or the age that you die. Age. Oh, um, that's tough. Mm. Age. Whew. Yeah. The manner in which you die. I feel like you can get some key indicators from the manner as to what <laughs> season what if, of life. What, you're but in? what if it's so vague? You die. What if it's answer. like? What if it's like car? You're like what? <laughs> Do I not get in one? Do you, I not go near one? What is that? You what die is in a spaceship over Mars. <laughs> cool. Going to Mars? <laughs> when? Can't tell Doesn't you. Doesn't matter. <laughs> it's just some like depressing I, You statistic. get a call. You're like, hey, we want you to be the first to go on a trip to Mars. It's actually mandatory. <laughs> oh, man. I choose, I choose the way I'm going to die. Yeah, for sure. I think me too. Yeah. I don't know. I want to I wanna know. I want to know how. I want to know when. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think I care as much as when. I think that would get me paranoid. Yeah, because then I would much. just, that whole year, even like the whole 10 years leading up to it. Yeah. No, the 10 years leading up to it, you're like, I know when I'm going to die, so let's let's go. Let's, let's roll, baby. I got a lot of things to say. <laughs> let's start living like that now. <gasps> Aw. Shouldn't we all? Okay. okay, I have another question. Live like you were dying, like tomorrow <laughs> what wasn't is there. You got eternity. Jingle bound to do with it. What would you do with it? Here's another question that I was going to ask in the last right one. Sky right diving, I went. Rocking right out and climbing, I went. 3.7 <laughs> seconds on a bull main Fu main shoe. All right, what's up? Wow. <laughs> a question I was going to ask on the last podcast when I had to leave is, when's the last time you cried? <laughs> I'll tell you did when. Did you? Do you haven't. Do you remember last him? time she yeah, did this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hit me. When's the last time Josh cried? A couple days ago. Okay. And it was really sweet because it's, we were talking really about. Romantic. Yeah, we were talking about um, if I ever got like dementia or something. Mm -hmm. He said that he would quit his job, and that he would come home, and he would just tell me that every day was Saturday. You come up with that? Yeah, that's actually really sweet. I know. And then we were both crying. We're it. like. I'm like, golly. <laughs> <laughs> like, then why am I sad? <laughs> and we're like, I love you. <laughs> I love so you who brought up the dementia thing? Was it something uh, hypothetical that you brought up or you brought up? I think I brought it up. Yeah. yeah. Something hypothetical. <laughs> that is sweet. I think I, I cry pretty regularly. I think as soon as I... As soon as I met God, it became I started becoming a crybaby. Then I met Kelsey. Then I had a like. Then you have two daughters, and it's like it just ruins you. Yeah, you're crying on a regular basis. I have at that cried point. way more since having kids, dude. It's it, yeah, it's almost an everyday happen. thing. You don't have to. You don't have to hide it. It's okay. Yeah. What's the last time you cried, Andrew? Never cried. Oh, really? I, wow. I tried. I never cry. <laughs> I never cry. 
Um, I'm just tripping out over here because there is an article uh, on CIA.gov about dot gov 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 dot gov about panda diplomacy. <laughs> Save mm-hmm. it. <laughs> yeah, yep. Okay. But it's there, dude. We need. We're coming up with t-shirts. Like stop the pandas. Yeah. Kill the pandas. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, kill the pandas. It's kind of like the birds are aren't real. Yeah. Pandas, pandas, are pandas are spies, dude. Pandas, wow. yeah. Birds aren't real and pandas are spies. All right, we own that. You guys can't take that idea. You can't take it. We said it right here. Yeah, we trademarked it right now. Yep. Boop. Dude, there's a ninja inside of a, uh, every panda. Oh. <laughs> guys, there's a ninja. <laughs> there's also a ninja inside of every one of us. Ninjas are pandas? <laughs> Ninjas are pandas, yeah. We um, should do panda costumes for Halloween. Speaking of, what's your face? Okay, you oh. <laughs> Everyone has weird faces when they eat. It's good, right? Um, <coughs> no. <laughs> Wait, you haven't had it yet. Have you guys ever heard of the anti-cateria mechanism? Nope. Anti-cateria me- mechanism. 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 No. Better known as the two thousand year old computer. No. <clears throat> Fast. How's that possible? Let me tell you. It's it's a great mystery. So, these divers in 1901, <laughs> what? It's a great mystery. So, in 2000... I'm setting it up no, like no. the podcast do. <laughs> so, listen to this. In 1901, 122 years ago, there was these divers off the coast of Greece. They were going down to a shipwreck. Have you heard this? No, that was a really good hook, though. Oh. Go ahead. <laughs> and they found this box with uh, ancient Greek items, like statues, all this different stuff, bus, all these, whatever, yep. all the stuff that came from ancient Greece. Mm-hmm. And they pulled out, it was just like this giant rusted block. And they went and they cleaned it off. And it had mechanisms. It looked like a hard drive. And they're like, what in the world? Because ancient, the basically the technology or the, the gears that were in this thing, yeah, they did not have that technology yet. Oh, no. And oh, no. It's the pyramids all over again. Yep. Um, but then years and years later, when we developed x-rays and stuff like that, they started doing more research on this thing because they could only do so much because it was the early 1900s. Um, when they did it, they realized it was way more complex than they thought. Mm-hmm. And it was a couple of years ago. Let me see. Um, hold on. Where oh, I did notes really bad on this because I wrote it really fast. Um, so they did a, they brought this, um, 3d x-ray machine okay. to, uh, the museum that it was held at. They examined it and there was a user manual guide what? in it and it was written in ancient Greek. So okay. that's proof that it was from ancient Greece from that time. Yeah. And it was basically supposed to be a automated dial system to track the sun, moon, stars, all that stuff. Wow. And so they said that you could place like you could wind it up to 10 years and know exactly where the sun is going to be, where the moon's going to be. They could to a T predict when there was going to be a solar eclipse, a lunar eclipse. Oh my gosh. That's insane. And like, but they've never found so not anything even te- else. It's not even technology at that time, but it just like, seems like, was that like, was that information like worldwide? Like, I mean, like in their, in other literature, like they knew yeah, about I space don't, and stuff like that. And that just like brings up the whole thing of like, did like ancient Greece, was that like kind of the end of like this tech technology or was that even passed down to someone in ancient Greece? Yep. You know, and they like wrote the manual for yep. it. Mm. Um, <clears throat> alien technology. What if all the mythological, all the mythological stuff, Hercules and everything, what if those were aliens? Hey, hey, could be, could be. But the, the guy, uh, Arthur, Arthur C. Clarke, who's the author of space odyssey. When he heard about this, he said the ancient Greeks knew of, Cape, or if the ancient Greeks, what? It's the volume. It's good. Oh, if the ancient Greeks knew of the capabilities of technology they created, they could have gone to the moon in 300 years. And he says, and now we would be exploring the stars. Wow. He's saying the technology that that was yeah. in ancient Greece was so thousands of years or I guess like 100, yeah, 1,500 yeah, yeah. years yeah. before something that like that was invented. And if that had been if that had been passed out to all these other cultures, yeah. the timeline would have been the knowledge so of creating this the advancements yeah. would have been insane. Yeah. yeah. So what stopped it? Don't know. It went to the bottom of the ocean. 
Ugh. But it just got me thinking of like with the whole counts of like the Native Americans and stuff yeah. talking about the star people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the book of Enoch talking about um, the fallen angels coming down and giving the knowledge of the stars and the heavens mm-hmm. and technology. And it's like that thing kind of matches up with like yeah. the knowledge of the stars. You know when the moon is going to be here, when there's going to be a solar eclipse, when where the sun's going to be in 10 years. Yeah. Like that's that's highly, highly advanced. I guess I don't, I mean, maybe maybe it's the, our school system, maybe the way we brought up or maybe I'm just ignorant. But I always thought like, you always think when you think of history, you always think of that our cultures and everything, we're always progressing. I never thought about like the fact that we may have lost technology. We regressed, something bad happened. Yeah. Like we think about like all these natural disasters that we know of. Yeah. Let alone like people taking over certain um, tribes or cities or things and then yeah. demolishing all of that. Like, I mean, people used to burn cities. Yeah. Imagine all of the things. And so it's just, yeah. well, it's, it's crazy like, to think that everything you possibly could have learned in school may or may not be in, may be correct or fully correct. Yeah. That's so messed up. Well, it's up. also inter- inter- interesting to think about. Yeah of these different empires that were like, they wanted to control their own history and their own narrative. So they would wipe out anything that talked about what happened to that culture or something, you know, like, like the book of, or the library of Alexandria, Alexandria. Mm -hmm. how that was the largest library, even in today's standards, it would have been the largest library in the world with documentation or scrolls and stuff that dated back like 4,000 years. Now just gone. And it's gone. God. Could you imagine the impact if that... And the Romans did that. Yeah. If that event did not occur, where would we be, we be now as a civilization? Yeah. We'd, we'd be living on the moon, baby. For real. We we'd actually would. Living on the moon. We'd be doing this podcast <laughs> on the moon. Whoa! Absolutely, we absolutely would. Inside the moon because it's hollow. One day we will. <clears throat> One day we will. Yeah. Um, I, I'm kind of related, kind of not, but uh, it's... I. I can't remember who I was listening to, but he was talking about somebody like how uh, we've left out certain content in our history books because of certain things or mm. made like whenever people moved here um, from England for the first time and we had natives here, like there was not a lot of history given towards the native people, but a lot of people said it was, it was, uh, it was the podcast. I was the presidential one. It just wasn't relevant to them. Like you just giving that perspective, like in their mind, I think everything they never, relevant. they, but the thing is them, like yeah. they didn't it think didn't matter they, to them. their life yeah. and these people's culture, that wasn't relevant to them. Yeah. They were tra- like, you know, like the trespassers, like they're like, get off our land or whatever, you know? So I get that mentality because that's, a, that would be a selfish, yeah. you know, yeah. person who, a leader who's just trying to like, you know, what's our history what's our culture yeah, we're gonna yeah. we're gonna keep all that and whatever happens over there it doesn't matter yeah and so like there's yeah it's i tough. mean a great example of that would be north korea where yeah. they don't they don't know their history it's yeah. only told by what is nice. allowed to be taught because they believe um it's not kim jong-il who's uh his father not sure but they believe that he is a god and wow. that and, like that's, and that's what they, that's what they teach him yeah, Golly. and so that yeah. they are there, so they worship him, you know. So it's like, it's just that. That's so scary thing. to think about. You never thought about like you're literally being born into a bubble, and but what are we? And what, if that's the thing. We don't think we're living in that bubble. I've always, <laughs> I've always wondered, like different countries, what are they teaching the kids and stuff about America? I know, and, like what we've done, but we have no idea that we did it. Well, yeah. I was taken on a little journey recently after FD. Uh, 52 was posted because um, we talk about the social scoring in China and all that stuff. Yeah. And that's a narrative that we understand here in America. But also, what would the motive be for us to have some kind of opinion toward China as well? This person was saying, my husband's from China, and that's not a real thing. Also, those cameras that we talk about, most of them aren't even operational. you know. But And that's still like a control thing. It makes you think, like, is yeah. this camera or whatever. But what what are we being told about other cultures in addition to what what are other cultures? Yeah, about I America? mean, it's it's a uh, propaganda. Yeah. yeah, one, it's like the art of propaganda. It could come in in any type of form. You yeah. know? and that's what I got so frustrated with, like when the TikTok ban and everything was happening, all those rumors. Because like it's like, whatever TikTok, like people like, who don't are on on it don't understand. But there's so much information and so much free speech happening where it's like anyone could be live streaming at in Ukraine and they, like showing you what's really happening compared yeah. to what we that we're getting told because you'd have to but seek then, out information now it's like it's in front of you like I, it's, you don't have to see exactly. it out. the the whole freedom of information and stuff but they it's like these people that are controlling the narrative they're also really smart and they're going to show you stuff yeah. Yeah. that looks like a live stream from Ukraine but in fact it's just propaganda yeah. you know, like and understanding psych- human psychology yeah. is like 
I mean, I only took like a class, like two classes in college. And it's like, I learned so much just in that one period yeah. at some small school in Missouri. So I can't even imagine for people who are masters of psychology yeah. and how, like using technology, using AI, it's like, it's, yeah. it's impossible and to the, read the truth. The one though. thing I always think about was like in middle school and high school, when we learned about like World War II and stuff and like Hitler is the bad guy, mm -hmm. we have to stop Hitler, right? Um, we were allied with Joseph Stalin of the USSR. Joseph Stalin killed millions of more people than Hitler did. Mm -hmm. Both really bad dudes. But yeah. in the history books, it's not talking about all the terrible oh, yeah. things that Stalin did. It's just talking about all the terrible things Hitler did. Yeah. And what, so I'm just like, why? Like, like, just say, like, Stalin was a bad dude, but yeah. we needed to stop the Nazis. Yeah, exactly. You know, like, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. It's a lot. With the whole TikTok thing, you know, and like, obviously our government is trying to regulate, you know, what's going on there and all that stuff. But I'm just so of the opinion that I would rather have all the information with misinformation sprinkled in because I, I believe, especially with the spirit that we have yeah. in us, that we have the ability to discern truth from not truth. Yeah. yeah. And if you want to know truth, you will find it. You, yeah. I mean, like it's, it's just like one of those things where it's like, if you hear us talk about a movie, immediately go watch it and be like, oh, dear. It's like you gotta you gotta look yeah. it up. You gotta yeah. do your own research. You gotta yeah. do th certain things, and and that's something that the truth will win out. <laughs> but then you have those campaigns, um, news people literally saying, "Don't do your own research." Yeah, like, it's like it's like what are you doing your own research for? Like there's like, there's a compilation of like all these huge news oh, stories man. and people saying. Quit with the whole do your own research. What does that even mean? It's like you taught us to do our own research in high school. Yeah. Like we're supposed to look these things yeah, up. To and graduate, then, we had to do research papers. Yeah. yeah. And, <laughs> and, like, and now it's like, who do we listen to? You can't say one one news source is the listen best. Listen to me. All. Yeah. Listen to Ninjas of Butterflies. We will yeah. never lie to you. True. Unless we accidentally do. <laughs> yes. And then we'll tell you, hey, I'm, we accidentally lied to you. We'll never do it on purpose. Yeah. Let's say that. I mean, that's not lying. It's just we were yeah. misled. Yeah. But then we'll correct ourselves. Yeah. I like the idea that we're misled and not just like irresponsibly just saying information. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's definitely more that. Um, anyways, that's fun, right? Fun. Oh, man, I love it. Having a good time. Hey, hey we're all having a good time. <laughs> what is that? Dude? I don't know. You having a good time? I'm having a good time. Mm. Yeah, comedy. Uh. I just got really passionate about that. Subject. I know. We all did. That was great. Um, oh, man. So, but yeah. Similarly, similarly to that. I asked you the question the other day, like in the 80s or like the 70s or whatever, we didn't know that building with asbestos was like literally killing us. Yeah. What is happening right now? What are we using all the time? Yeah. That in 30 years, we're going to say, I can't believe. It's, and I think it's, it's that lemon snack we just ate. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> yeah. I'll show you the label later. It's <laughs> definitely got a cancer warning on it. I thought it was that fruit that changes citrus flavor. So I'm biting into this lemon. I'm like, dang, oh, it's like still it's, really sour. Wait, like even like they would put like lead paint on like kids toys and stuff, you know? Yeah. And like. It was crazy. So yeah. What's happening now? What's I mean, there's a right lot now? probably. Yeah. Yeah, what was on that bug I ate last time? Because I, I threw up that night. Bug, <laughs> bug. What's up with that bug? Just MSG. Yeah, it's true. Um, I have I have a uh, fun question. Okay. And this seems like a Lily question. Um, if you had a house, where would you house, like your dream house, where would you place that house? Mm. And if you had, f let's do three magical doors that could lead to any other <gasps> location in the world within that house. Cool. What would that location be? This so name where the dream house is located. And this portal's only to you, for you. Okay. Okay. I you, would. Do so you guys get your own doors? You and family or just you? Just okay. you. Okay. Okay. So you live. You could so place. The it, doors yeah. don't go to like where you live. So the house, like could, you the house could be in it's Florida. A, it's a okay. teleportation device. Yeah. But you have three doors inside your house that take you anywhere in the world. Even it could be imaginative. Yeah. yeah Some yeah. people like said like, oh, I want, like heaven or something. You know, like if you wanted that's to do cheating. that. Sure. That's cheating. I know it's cheating. But, Why don't you make your house but like I, heaven, I, baby? I, I would say that. But then I asked that question on Reddit and one of the top comments was uh well my my son passed away so can oh. heaven be one of the choices we're like yeah i guess Andy, yeah, totally. why did you say that well because i was like that well that's cheating but i'm like wait no it's not <laughs> then i read her answer i'm like oh yeah no 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 you could do it because <laughs> it was like heaven here's why i'm like that's cheat never mind never you're mind. good you're excellent yes um, heaven is an option um this is a point of contention between you and i we've yeah, asked you, this you get you choose your own no you choose so your own good. yeah yeah but you say that's so dumb when i tell you no no, no 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 yes no judgment done. no wait. no judgment Go first. Um, my house. Wait, and you just teleport. Do you have a house in that place? <laughs> Listen, your no. house is in wherever you want it to be in the world. 
the doors inside your house your lead place of to residence. Places. Yeah, the doors don't lead to your residence. House? You live in just, you live in Eustis. Where do you want your house to actually? If be? I if one of my doors takes me to St. Augustine, do I have a house in St. Augustine? No. No. You just pop in. No. Yeah. Whoa. So it could literally be like you could put your hippo. house in St. Augustine though. Your your door could be. You're making this the, way ba- too the bathroom of the hippo. Like you like it just like you immediately there. Like you're right there now. Is my family relocating with me? <laughs> no, you're asking too many questions. Yeah, Lil. My house is going to be here. Okay. Okay. Because I want to be near my family. Okay. One door one, Saint Augustine. <laughs> okay. And that's what Josh always says. That's so dumb. No, it's we not. can literally just drive there. That's what he says. But the convenience of the having convenience. a popsicle in thirty seconds. Yeah. Are you kidding? Yeah, that's yeah. good. That's good. All right. All right. Two other places. You don't mean that. It's kind of dumb, but <laughs> <laughs> he would. Do. Oh, there it is. I was hoping it's like I will no judgment, and as soon as she says it, dumb. Two, Edinburgh, Old Town. <clears throat> nice. Three, I don't know. Edinburgh, Scotland. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And that's close enough to Ireland, so you guys can just yeah, you know, commute. Boom, boom. Yeah. Three, I don't really know. Think anywhere in the world. Any, Disney. No. The moon. The mountains. Japan. Yeah, goes maybe, a, maybe North Carolina, like Fairview. Cool. Nice. What I'd, about you? I would keep my house here in Eustis. Yes. Uh-huh. And I would also do Old Town, Edinburgh. Mm-hmm. Um, and then I would do, um, Montana. Okay. Like. Stevensville, that'd be pretty dope. Okay. Because it's really pretty there. Big sky country. Yeah. And the um, third one would be Area 51. <laughs> oh, weirdo. Nice. All right. You don't mean that. Yeah, yeah I do. Because you, you just open. Yeah. 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 yeah, you're like, yeah, yeah you yeah. open and you're like, I'm scared. <laughs> you have your invisibility cloak on. <laughs> Can I change my door? <laughs> <laughs> I'm scared. We have locks on that door, like all over. You open it, a light turned into stone. <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> all right, Andrew, what would you do? I would do. Um, Where's your home at? My home is on the north shore of Oahu, okay. right above Pipeline. There's like a mountain range, and you can literally hike like hundreds of yards up, and it's only like 100 yards deep. So nice. it's super vertical. You can see the water. It's beautiful. Um, my door, uh, just to all my family. Yeah. Yeah. Like just to be able to be. Hawaii is super isolated, so to be able to open a door and still be connected to everybody. So, would awesome. you open a door to this office? You have three doors, though. I got family all over. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yep. Hawaii, 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 Hawaii. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that would be the most In Andrew island, <laughs> island traffic. But just different. Yeah, sucks. exactly. Just, just different just, sides yeah. of it. Yeah. <laughs> Andrews would be Hawaii, Hawaii. Burger King. (laughs) (laughs) They got a poke spot on the North Shore. (laughs) Skip the traffic. I think I would have my home, obviously, yeah, somewhere in Florida. Um, I like like that. Uh, But then one would be for uh, Missouri, uh, just to be close to family. And then obviously one, I would want to do something like crazy, like Bali, Bali or something, yeah, like Bali, like, like vacation, like crazy. Yeah. And then the third one would be the Taco Bell inside the Pentagon. Nice. Inside the Pentagon? They there's have a, a Taco Bell? There's a Taco Bell inside the <laughs> Pentagon. So I know there's got to be some secret menu items there. Oh, also, Taco just- Bell inside the Pentagon? That's what you choose for your third door? I didn't know that that existed. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. Oh, oh, man. I just got like That was so good. Uh, we should clip that and put that like so people can make it their ringtone. <laughs> good question. Talk that's fun, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I love that. I, lo- I was like, read that question. I was like, yeah, that's perfect. Are you so trying to take what... over my segment? No, I was, I was actually about that to send it to you. That was a really but... good question. <laughs> that was should the we best start question hey, corner hey, with Andy? Hey, hey. The past hour. Hey. Question corner, question corner, We're question corner, corner with Andy, where the questions are better than really. Oh, my God. We are so close. We are so close. I'm going to throw this Man, this lemon is my at you. Favorite segment right now. <laughs> I'm going to squeeze that lemon in your eye. <laughs> um, so you guys tell us what house you would have, where it would be in your three doors. Yes, please. In the comments. Yes. Also, um, should we talk about the tattoo real quick? Oh, yes. We need some ideas. Okay, so here's we need the creativity. thing. It, if you followed us on our journey and on Instagram, I think we started. Yeah, it, it was a, yep, yep. the deal was we started this on September 2nd of 2022. Right. Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. And it was we were trying to gain a thousand followers, um, Wasn't in it? one in the month of September. Right. No, it was like before it was the like podcast. Three, it was one week. It was. Yeah, like, I think it was like one, one week. week. Yeah. And the deal was, if we did, Andy would have to get a tattoo, and we did that. We said we said the butterfly logo at first, but then I'm thinking, let's do something yeah. fun. So yeah. suggestions 
Email them to and, yeah, ninjas nin- are ninja no ninjas at sundaycool.com. Yep. And if you're a tattoo artist and you want to tattoo Andy with something, email us too. Let's email do Email us with that. Yeah. But we're going to try to do it on the pod. We're going to yes. do it on the pod. So if you, we're going to oh, take yeah. some suggestions then we're going to get the art created. Then you guys are going to be able to vote on them. Yeah. And then we're going to have my one. buddy Binks tattoo him. He does all my stuff. Be gentle, but get creative. Yeah. Get creative. So send in your artwork to yeah. ninjas at sundaycool.com. I'm yeah. so excited. And we'll choose a winner. Oh yeah. Cause then we can get, yeah, the art can be the concepts and then we can, yeah, have someone build it. Nice. Yeah. yeah. That's perfect. So yeah, make sure to like, and review this podcast and everything possible. Tell your friends. Go buy some merch, guys. We got some spanking new merch that's going fast. Yes. Sundaycoolswag.com. Yep. 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 Um, we love you guys so much. Thanks yeah. for making this show the best in the world. Episode 54. Yep. In the and, books. And uh, if you want anybody on this pod, if you want somebody to see this pod, if you want, like, who would who'd you say earlier? Your... Who, Oh, no, Post Malone. Um, oh, yeah, Post Malone. Hey, or Jackie Chan. Send this, yeah, send those this link to them. Yeah. Tag them. Okay, love, love you guys. Oh, what? Isn't there a letter? Oh, oh. yeah, 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 yeah. Listen. Good call. Listen, um, should, we, we, should we be honest? Yeah, because we obviously well, had to record. We, we yeah. filmed the episode 54 yesterday, yeah. but it got messed up, so we're filming again. This was sent in. Um, we talked about it a couple episodes ago. This um, this was sent a few months ago, and, and it, it says, was... Don't open until episode 54. We're finally um, here. And we were very scared to open it because it was mysterious. But um, it was this guy. What's his name? Uh, Mitch. Yeah, Mitch. Mitch Perry. And, and his he, buddy, his brother, Mark. It's his, his bro- birthday. It's Mark's birthday. Yes. I thought it was going to be something very like, it was going to be like a, a like decipher, you, like a Zodiac letter or something. Yeah. But it's uh, a simple, happy birthday. Very wholesome. So happy birthday, Mark. Happy birthday, Mark. Happy birthday, Mark. Lil, 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 say everything you love about Mark. Mark. Um, Five things you love so about him. so good at math. Your hair color is really nice. Uh, you're intelligent mm. and you're kind and you brighten every room. Okay. Easy. Yeah, Mark. Yeah. I call like I said. Mark, it. back <laughs> off, buddy. <laughs> yeah, take it easy, Mark. I don't care if it's your birthday. Yeah. She's married, all right? Take it easy. I take back my happy birthday, Mark. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, love you. Bye. Love you. Love you. Did I say ninja? I meant butterfly. the butterfly. As an empty mind. You were martial arts. Fuck ninja ninja! Can uh, I take these? Yeah. Of course. Yep. Yeah. No, I won't. You're gonna get sick. No, get them. No, go, I don't, go they're, they're, get them. I don't have anything planned for dinner. Oh my Beaver goodness! Nuggets. Crap. I bought five a guys. whole. <gasps> what? Five guys? We're getting five. You're welcome. You always suggest five guys. Because it's the best and it's right by your place. Yeah, it is. Dude, I'd be, I would be 500 pounds if I lived Dude, that close to so five guys. it's so expensive though. You it be. is. <laughs> Shut up. I know he's not 500 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>